Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Slow the Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week on my YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. And for this video, we're going to delve into another universal law. I have a full playlist of the other laws that I've covered also on my YouTube if you want to check it out. But for this video, we're going to do the law of gender. I don't even know why I felt called to do this law, but it came into my head. So here we are. And I've made some notes because I've made lots of like corresponding um, things that correspond together on how you can see gender throughout life, because all of these laws relate to the universe, relate to how it functions, which includes humans, it includes animals, it includes plants, like everything on this planet and in this universe all has similarities and things that correspond with each other and I feel like in daily life you kind of become aware of certain things but you don't realise the impact that it has on life so you can use these laws or like the understanding of these laws to help you manifest and create your dream life so with the law of gender obviously we see this in sex like male and female in humans and we also see it in animals as well so it's kind of a pretty straightforward one but one thing I always found odd when I was younger is that in like the Spanish language and I think French as well they have certain words for certain genders like certain words are feminine and certain words are masculine and when I was in school I really didn't understand why it was like that because it's not like that in the English language and I just never experienced it before and I just thought it was odd but now that I understand these laws and I understand certain things about the universe it completely makes sense why language would take on these characteristics because everything in the universe has a masculine or feminine energy and that doesn't just mean um, male and female like humans it means when it comes to push and pull yin and yang like two sides of the battery the plus and minus you know um, it's a type of energy so one is passive and submissive and one is more dominant and not aggressive but more forceful you know so like a push and a pull so in the universe and in this planet literally you can see that type of energetic dynamic or energetic signature everywhere so I also wrote down zodiac signs because they correspond with and associate with specific planets which puts this on such a macro scale like as above so below another law that I've also covered that um, everything correlates and corresponds so what you see on a macro scale in the universe like in the planets in the solar system you'll also see in our vessels you'll see it in animals like there's just so many things that correspond, which is just really incredible. But when you look at the zodiac signs, they, if you um, have studied your birth chart, you'll know that they highlight or reveal certain parts of our personality, certain parts of our ego, that kind of thing. And there are parts of this that are masculine and parts of this that are feminine. So when we look at our emotions, there are parts that are masculine and parts that are feminine, and it has nothing to do with gender in the sense of male and female, human people, nothing to do with sex. It has everything to do with the type of energy that it is. So when we then look at the human personality, if you look at women and you look at men and you see the differences in how they handle emotions, how they handle creativity and productivity, how they handle um, like the action of going and getting certain things, like you can see for the most part, obviously it's getting a little bit blurred now, but for the most part, you can see how the men are very action dominated and like they want to fix things. They want to go do things like it's very dominant and very forceful, like go, go, go kind of thing. And women are very sensual. They're very calming. It's very like almost like a wave, like water. Emotion is associated with water. So it's very, um, it's creative. Like they literally create life. They're literally a vehicle for other souls to come into this world so 
that's very feminine and you can see that as above so below you can see it in the human perspective but you can also see it on a macro scale when you look at the zodiac signs you look at the planets you look at the elements like it's literally related to the elements and i'll probably make a video on the elements in a future video because i don't want this one to be too long but just if you look at the um zodiac signs and also tarot which corresponds with different zodiac signs you can see the masculine and feminine elements energies in that because you have um which ones are i'm pretty sure it was water and um earth that are feminine and fire and air that are masculine but don't quote me on that because i cannot remember for the life of me but to me water feels very feminine because it's very like intuitive which is a feminine feminine trait kind of thing but both men and women hold both masculine and feminine energy within them because it's not just limited to one it's an energy at the end of the day it's not just talking about which sexual organs you have so we all have both and that's why I could be intuitive which is more feminine and then also be very proactive and like dominating which is very masculine you know like we have both within us because we literally have the full zodiac sign as part of our personalities so how to use the law of gender to help better your life and manifest things is that when you understand that you hold both of these energies within you it's about coming to a balance with them so that they're not out of whack completely and then they just throw you off so you don't want to be overly emotional and sensitive and like consumed by your emotions that would be too far over on the feminine and not enough masculine but then you also don't want to be too dominating and too like forceful and trying to like put people down and like you know when you get really aggressive and dominating and that kind of thing like you don't want to be too far on either end of the spectrum it's about having a beautiful balance between the two so if you want an even deeper explanation of the divine masculine and divine feminine you can definitely check out the validate me podcast episode that i did with my best friend because we broke down fully about the different dynamics between the masculine and feminine energies so i think that video will elaborate even further upon this one but just for this video i wanted to explain exactly what the law is and why it exists because it exists in everything and it literally is a gauge for our emotional state and it's a way to be able to tell whether we're off whether we're out of balance or not and i think looking at your birth chart and also um understanding the tarot because they are basically showing you the archetypes and things looking at those will really help you use that external tool to understand the internal within yourself and then that will help you to really take back control of your emotions and be able to process them a lot easier and also know what you're feeling know why you're feeling it you know know what's coming up and whether it's a masculine or a feminine energy and emotion that's coming up so i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for listening and watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and check out the description box below for all links to my music my phone number my merch my crystal healing jewelry and so so much more all of that will be in the description box below and i'll see you in the next episode bye you could say i love you i can't get enough but i just want you to myself i don't need you when i fuck you need you when you touch me i just want you to myself